Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Cinquanta Cox Smith of www.cinquantacoxsmith.com. Smile for me. So today is going to be a little light video. I love doing tutorials. Um, this year, I have made it my business to get back into doing hobbies, like doing things I enjoy. And that's basically DIY. So I'll also be doing a series. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Maybe it might be my hobby DIY series or something like that. But I just want to show you some of the things that I enjoy making at home that I do not sell. <laughs> so I know life can be like a to problems all the time. And the, the hobby is the thing DIY bookmarks at home. Uh, of course, I do a lot of tutorials on my channel, but maybe this video can help you to learn how to make bookmarks at home to sell for others if that's the option or the route you want to take, or it can just be an experiment or a DIY project that you can do at home for yourself for some of the books that you read. So if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So I am going to be de designing today in Canva. So here is actually um, the first cover that I designed, not cover, Lord, I'm thinking about journals. The first bookmark that I designed, um, here's an original artwork. This is actually a photo of me that I uh, created and procreate with <laughs> earrings and a necklace and of course a purple shirt. And here is me with a puff. This is an actual photo of me. So I probably won't design or sell this. And here is the other one. This is also like a replica of me with braids um, here as well. So these are the two that I designed. And like I said, I'm using Canva. So in Canva, what you would do is go to the search bar and just basically type in bookmark because they already have like these setup frames for you. So if you're not sure where to start, you can use one of the templates that they have available to just give you some framework or you can basically uh, start blank, okay? So I'm gonna start with a blank canvas here. And I, let's see, what color do I want today? Uh, let's do something, we're still going to do purple, <laughs> but we're, we'll do a darker purple, okay? So I'm going to go into my uploads in a second, and I'm going to bring out my images. All right, so here's my image that I uploaded, and I'm going to place that, I'm going to open that up, and I'm just going to bring that down. And for some reason, I want to do this on both sides so and like turn it upside down so it could possibly go either way with your bookmark. So something like that. And then I'm just going to add a page and I'm going to delete that color. And I'm going to put the uh, this one here. So let's look for, I love like stars and stuff. So that's kind of why I ended up doing that last time. So let's see what we can find. Let me look up like stars. This looks like a really busy one. So I like it, like the glitter. Oh, and I can change the color. So I don't really like pink. So I'll go for a light purple. Um, let's see if we can find a different gold. Maybe that one, and then we'll do, let's see, like a light blue, like here. So I'm going to position that to the back. Um, and then I think I'm going to move her down. So it make her bigger. She's like looking at you, checking you out. <laughs> so those will be my two bookmarks this time around. Okay, so then what I would do um, next so I can set it up on a sheet so that it prints more than one, 
Um, I just download them as PNGs. Actually, I should do it separately so it won't go into a, um, a zip file. So I'm just going to download each separately. And if you guys hear something, my dog is snoring. <laughs> so I don't know how loud he is, but I can hear him right here next to me and he's snoring. All right, so I'm downloading both of these bookmarks. I'm going to go um, actually to home here on Canva. And I am looking for an eight and a half by 11. I can actually go in and do it myself or I can find something that's already eight and a half by 11. And then I'm going to, oh, hey, did I miss and download it as PDF? Y'all, why are y'all ain't save me from making a mistake? <laughs> so now I have to go back and download it again, but no worries. Just a minor setback. Okay, so now I'll download the second one and make sure it's PNG and not a PDF. Major little setback there. So then I'm just going to upload this here and upload that one as well. Then I'm going to take this. So it's supposed to be two by six. So here you can see that I go down till it says two by six. There, perfect. Then I'm going to turn it sideways. Then I'm going to take this up here and I'm going to make another one. Give me some space. Let's size this one down to 2.2 by 6. Turn it to the side with a 90 degree angle. And then we're going to move that over. And then I'm going to duplicate that one as well. And now we have four stickers. Okay, so what I, not stickers, bookmarks. So now what I'll do is I'll name this. Simple, I know. And then I am going to download this as PDF for print. Okay. So then I'll open it up on my computer and then I'll go to print it to my computer and then I'll make sure it is in color. So it's fully in color. If I have any more settings, I can change that as well. You say print on both sides if you want. Um, I'm probably going to leave my other side blank. So, and then I'll hit print and I'll print that. And then I'll take you guys to my printer and show you guys what are the next steps from there. All right, so I have a few things on my desk and that includes my um, paper cutter, my bookmarks. I have my corner cutter. I have my lamination paper. And right here I have my laminator which I am about to turn on. So there are two ways you could do this. For some reason, I don't have the scissors, but you can go ahead and cut your cardstock out. So I am using cardstock. I don't know the weight, I'll double check. Um, you can cut it out or you can go ahead and insert it into your lamination paper, which I'm gonna do just so enjoy cutting this out so I'm gonna put that in there make sure it's nice and snug and all the way to the top <clears throat> so once my laminator <coughs> excuse me once my laminator turns green I'll go ahead and slide this through I have set up my bookmarks. I put some cardstock in my printer and I'm just going to hit print.
And like I told you guys, I only did one side. So hopefully it does one side. And there we have it. Really bright colors, vibrant. This is ready. So I'm just gonna pick up my cardstock and my lamination paper sandwich it's a sandwich and i'm going to insert it into the machine and it's going to feed through there and come out on the other side and i want to tell you guys a funny story so i actually my laminator had a huge jam it was it was horrible um so i took it apart and i fixed it and now it's like new so i'm, I'm glad i didn't have to buy a new laminator machine because it still works so it's starting to come out on the other side, laminated. And then once that is done, we're just gonna basically take this to the cutter and we're gonna cut these out. So it doesn't take long. That was probably about a minute, maybe. It's not really hot. But once this comes through, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off because I won't need it again. And move it out of the way. All right, so it's done. Let's laminate it, have it. Turned off my machine, move that out of the way. Grab my cutter. And we can start cutting. So the only thing about this is with the ones that have the clear lines, I can't really see um, so I have to be super careful with this one because it has a little bit of you know of setting where I can actually see but this one is much easier so I'll do that one first and I'm just lining it up for where I want it got my so my uh, my laminator is a Amazon basics laminator and I also got my cutter from Amazon as well so I think I have all these products on my Amazon store it's probably in the link in my bio so then you can purchase it too I think I want to cut a little bit more off of this one can go more but I'm just gonna leave it like that so this is what we have so far okay and I'll just do one of these so we can finish up this video So this is my corner cutter. I really like this one, so I normally use that. So just slide it in there and chop it off. Sometimes I run into issues where it does not cut all the way. That is okay. Of course, every time I wanna do a video, <laughs> 
my tools and appliances do not want to they do not love me so let's try a different one let's try this one that one's moving a little bit faster and better I don't have my scissors. I don't know where it's at. It's like I can't keep scissors in my office in this house. But do you see the corners? Don't mind this corner. <laughs> so the glare really sucks, but there's the corners. Um, of course, I said don't mind this one because we had a little technical difficulties just like this one. But you can also leave them just like this with the straight edge and they'll be fine so um these are two of the originals that i made here and it is perfect for a book so i hope you guys enjoy that diy bookmark tutorial and feel free to show me your bookmarks that you make at home for fun or let me know if you decide to use this video and sell your own bookmarks and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I love you more than I love this video. Peace.